Are you a procrastinator? Then you might want to listen. Kia ora, Katrin from New Zealand. We all have the tendency for certain things, either in our personal lives or in business, to procrastinate. What does it mean? We certainly have a particular project, a task, something that we are avoiding until the very last minute or even not doing it at all. All of us have this and in general it's really not such a big deal. However, if you are, for example, a small business owner, an entrepreneur or someone depends on you finishing a project, then it can become a little problem. We avoid things for various reasons. Sometimes we are a perfectionist and we really don't like things that are done just half good or not good at all. We fear sometimes that we are not good enough for a particular job and that we will not um, do the task any justice. Or we simply fear opening up an envelope that is lying in front of us where we know the news in it might or might not be so good. So instead of opening up this envelope, let's say it's an invoice, let's say it's a letter that is yellow and in Germany that means it could come from the court, let's say um, it's a letter from um, a friend of yours where you just had an argument with and you know somehow it might not be comfortable opening that thing up, so you just put it aside. If you wait one, two or three days, it might not be a problem, but if you are avoiding it altogether, um, it basically only means you are not facing something at all. So how can we come uh, or how can we overcome or deal with procrastination? I have three tips for you. My first tip is really doing the jobs that you want to avoid at the time of the day where you are at your best. There is a book that's called Eat Your Frog and it kind of um, says that you should be doing the task the first thing in the morning to just get it out of your way. And in general that um, has a purpose and is quite good advice. However, I feel if you are not a morning person, if you need some time to get going, if you are much better doing your tasks in the evening, then I suggest do whatever you avoid the most at the time when you are at your best, whether this is the morning, lunchtime, evening or even nighttime. My second tip for you is a five minute rule that I have um, practiced for, for quite some time now and it always works. Allow yourself to say, I am doing this task now just for five minutes and after that I allow myself to stop. What that does is it helps you actually to get started knowing it's only five minutes and you are not feeling guilty or feeling bad about yourself when you stop after five minutes because that was the task you have given yourself. You only wanted to do it for five minutes. The fun thing about that is once we get started, most of the time, once you um, have um, sat down and actually went and do the task, you will do more than five minutes. However, if you are stop after, uh, stopping after five minutes, you won't feel guilty because that was what you promised you would do. The more you practice this, the more you will realize when we do the thing, we will get the energy to do the thing. It's another of these funny sayings and it's very true. My third tip for you is practice overcoming something that is challenging to you by doing something on a personal level, um, a personal little activity where you know you have overcome something and then you can apply that to your business or your job. What I mean with that, for example, I at the moment, I'm in New Zealand and it's winter and we have snow on the mountains and I challenge myself 
this winter to go into the sea as long during the winter as I can. I've never done that before. It does the following. First of all, I actually love the ocean. I love the sea. It's nothing um, I do. I, I prefer doing much more than being at the beach or being in the sea. So I'm combining something I really enjoy with a challenge. It's obviously not so uh, fun going into the sea if it's only three, four, five degrees. I do this though, and afterwards I feel absolutely amazing. And the benefit is twofold. First of all, my physical health is improving. However, I'm also knowing I can deal with a challenge. I can do this. And then I, when I come home after that, then I sit down feeling really invigorated and doing the task that I avoided beforehand. So three tips. First of all, remember, we all are pre procrastinators at some point in our lives, uh, whether it's business or personal. It really is not such a big deal. Um, I hope these three tips really helped you. And if you like, comment below or PM me if you would like to know more. And I wish you an awesome week. Until next week, bye for now.